What's good with y'all? So check this out, bro. Today, I want to talk to y'all about what we be seeing on social media, bro. Because we be seeing some stupid delusional type responses. It's the best way I could phrase it. I mean, from all these pro-black tweets to um, all these, uh, oh, how men ain't men again. Just all this delusional stuff we be saying, dog. People just trying to get attention. That's all it is, guys. I, I see it for what it is, except I actually call it out for what it is. I don't even mess with social media for real like that. But yeah, guys, that's what we're going to talk about today. So look, before the video even starts, don't forget to like, share, comment, sub, hit the noti bell. And oh yeah, also, I'm going to be uploading every Monday and Thursday. I'm trying to get this algorithm thing down. So yeah, I was going to make those quick announcements real quick. But anyways, let's hop right into it. So, t so back a few months ago, back when these protests and stuff were happening, I see this one chick. She over here, t uh, she sent a Facebook post out about how black people can't be racist. Now, I'm looking for a word to like, man, I'm not even going to talk about her intelligence level, man. She knows what she's doing, dog. Her brain has to work at least somewhat well. Or maybe not. Who knows? Guys, if you make a comment offending another race, you are racist. No matter you're black, white, red, blue, or purple, whatever. No one is... See, that's just basically giving her an excuse to say a bunch of racist stuff. Keep this in mind. She's only half. She's like... She's a half breed. So, uh, I don't know what she's a, a half black, half white. I don't know who she's trying to be the spoke person for, but you're not all the way, my baby. Lots of black people will call you out for that. And see, that's the thing I noticed about going on throughout this whole protesting thing. It always, well, I mean, like, you know, she's like one of those chicks who, like, she's, I guess you consider her black. I mean, her skin's like, she looks light skin. But she's one of those, uh, what you call, she's one of those uh, black people who, you know, they, they're like Orioles, you know, they act like white. And that's how I recognize who most of these pro black people are. They're the same ones who, like, you just, like, you know, you just know they're from, like, the suburbs and, like, they just come off as kind of corny to you. They'd be the main ones. I think this is them trying to prove their blackness or something. Which, as you guys know, in our generation, the more you try, the lamer you come off as. So it really just ain't helping it. Also, I've been seeing a lot of this amongst uh, black beta cuck males uh, over trying to talk about defend black lives and protect our women and what. Man, they talk bad about us every day. And you guys don't have the backbone to stand up to them. That's why they be dogging you out. They don't be dogging me out. They already know what's up. They hit my guts, if anything. I say it for what it is. See, this is typical manipulation. This is why it's good to be red pill because you see it for what it is. Like I said, anyone can be racist. And the fact is, I had a lot of non-black friends during the protests post stuff online, talk about their opinions, and they got ridiculed for it. Some to the point where they had to delete their accounts when they're just speaking their opinion. I saw it, nothing was wrong with it. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. Some people think, uh, they, you know, they have the mindset that every race should be treated equally. Um, you know, everyone is, you know, everyone should be treated equal. And then some people who already think about one race should dominate the world. Let people go to their opinions. Let's see how far that gets them. But yeah, it's just simple manipulation tactics like that. And then, you know, you see the cucks, of course, over there trying to get some brownie points for them. You know, simping it out, really. I swear they must think simping is game. That's why beta males don't really need game for real. Because their game is just begging, basically. To, and also, there's another tweet I wanted to talk about. This one chick over here talking about five, guys under 5'9 five are worthless. Now, I'm 5'9. I'm going to throw that out there. What makes you... What do you have to offer? Guys who are 5'9 are worthless? I swear some chicks must just think they're the only female on this earth. What do you have to provide... Now, don't get me wrong, I love my snow bunnies, but if I was to mess with her, I'm looking for something else. Probably something she wouldn't be looking for, if you know what I mean. You know, snow bunnies, they'd be going crazy on the... But yeah, I, does she not know how many NFL players there are that are under 5'9", that are much higher value than her? Look at Darren Sproles. I mean, I don't know where he's at right now. He's in the NFL, he's like 5'6", he's down here. She might be talking to him or anything. Now, I will give her the benefit of the doubt. If she's one of these six-foot skyscraper type chicks, okay, I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. At that point, yeah. I don't know where she got her testosterone from, but she probably needs someone that she's wearing heels on. And I don't know, bro. 
surprised that Doug Fushy walks in a lot. But man, Darren Sproles. Um, who else? Ray Rice before he beat that chick. Even Tyreek barely makes the cut. All out of her league. They're millionaires. What do you have to offer besides the cap? And trust me, they getting way better cap than that. You seen Darren Sproles chick? She beats this little this uh what's called this little tension seeker. That's all as far as attention. She would never call a woman on their BS, but she'll be the first one to come for us. See, that's the sign of a worthless chick, bro. Just just a part of the following. What, what do you have to provide? If anything, no high value man's gonna respect you. We know what you for at that point. Just stay on social media, dog. This is why I can't mess with Twitter for real. Alright, guys, but that's enough of my random dog. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and sub. I'll catch you with y'all later.